Hi, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. So today we'll be learning about financial statement. So financial statement, it's really helpful for you as a business to plan and also control your financial or your finances in your businesses. So um, here, uh, other than that, financial statement can be a useful tool to um, do reporting at the end of your business um, which goes in a cycle okay and to see whether you're perform performing well or not okay so here um, if you see proforma the word proforma proforma means assumption assumption estimation it's a projection for you to plan out whether you'll be incurring losses profits and so on so you can control your cost how much you owe how much you own um, whether your cash should be more or less and so forth so here performa is really helpful for you to do proper planning and controlling later on so financial statements there are three here which is the income statement the balance sheet and also the cash flow financial statement it's all about understanding whether you're getting profit or losses okay whether you're performing well or not um, balance sheet is all about what you own in the business and what actually you owe outside of the business um, in terms of cash flow it's all about the cash uh, the transferred cash into and also outside of your business right how much is uh, how much cash are you getting inside going inside to your business and how much cash you're going that is flowing out from your business okay so that is cash flow let's go through the financial statement number one which is the income statement so income statement here you first need to have the sale the total sales that you'll be getting um, throughout your business um, for a certain amount of period for example one month okay so this is the total sales here then you will deduct the total sales with the cost of producing your products the cost of goods being sold okay so this cost of sales are directly related to you producing your um, products or goods and um, here you can connect it with the cost of raw materials cost of wages um, other than that anything that is directly related to producing your products or services then when you deduct your sales with your cost of producing your go goods okay then you will get a gross profit a gross profit is not yet finalized here then the gross profit need to be deducted with you minus it with other expenses that you incur in the business in a certain amount of period for example your marketing costs your other operating costs your salary salaries like I mentioned before salaries is fixed okay it's not directly related to producing the goods all right um, I don't know you have commission as well right um, so then after you deduct your gross profit and your other expenses that you is not related directly related in producing your products or services then you get your net profit okay so that is where you can understand whether your business is having a profit or actually loss okay so then you are able to see sales okay cost of sales here your gross profit then your expenses and this is the net profit which is the most important things uh, elements in doing your income statement so balance sheet balance sheet is where you see how much you own in your business and how much you owe outside of your business so here you'll be able to see your asset okay your liabilities and your equity okay asset can be di uh, divided into two types fixed asset okay a fixed asset is your um, asset that can be that can't be converted um, into cash within one year it's a long-term kind of asset which is big if you see the, the examples uh, includes equipment buildings vehicles 
um, other than that land can also be your fixed asset um, the second type of asset is your current asset current asset is asset that can be converted into cash within in one year all right so here you have your cash other than that you have your inventory inventory are the goods in your business that are not sold yet yang belum kena jual yet okay then you can actually total up your fixed asset and your current asset as a total asset right so go to the, the right section um you'll have your liabilities liabilities you have two types which is the first one current liability current liability it's something that you owe that you need to pay within one year all right within one year um, one example of current liability is your debt debt to your bank perhaps there is a certain amount of due you need to pay within one year with your bank Okay. Other than that, um, you have your customer deposit. Sometimes customer put in money, like fifty ringgit, before they go. Um, they use your hotel room, um, and that deposit. Once they want to leave the hotel, they need to get back that money. Okay. So, so that is one example of a current liability that you need to pay back to your customer once before they leave the hotel okay so that is one example of current liability other than that you have wages that are is payable that you need to pay at the end of the month uh, your customer uh, deposit rent tax liabilities all right so that is example of current liability other than current liability you have the second type of liability which is your long-term liabilities Long-term liabilities is something that you need to pay, that you owe, that is due after one year. Like that you can pay um, longer than one year, right? So one example is a bank loan that perhaps you had took a loan, a long-term, a big, huge amount of loan that you can't pay within one year, right? So this is one example of long-term liability. Other than this bank loan, perhaps you need to pay your um, employees pension which is due within like another 50 years or 30 years okay so that is a long-term liability other than that you have the equity equity is where what in another way to say it is what you owe to your shareholders what um, your shareholders will get okay from this business so perhaps um, um, they'll get the capital because uh, this is what they invested and also the net profit from their business so what once uh, on the right side of the balance sheet you have the liability and you add up with the equity then you have a total of the liability and equity in the balance sheet the maybe um the formula here is is to make it balance is asset always equals to liability added with equity so that is balance sheet Next, we'll have the cash flow. Like I mentioned before, cash flow, it's all about how much cash is transferred into your business and outside from your business, okay? So how much cash you're getting in and how much cash is flowing out from your business. So here, cash flow is really important. Um, it's to show the value that shareholders will get, okay? Um, whether... Um, the most important thing to see is whether you are getting a positive cash flow you're not getting negative you're not losing out money right so here um, you can bring in um, you can see how much cash balance you had from the previous month all right then you'll add up how much cash you're receiving for this month so you can take the net profit for example as how much cash you're receiving for this month then to see how much cash you're actually uh, how much cash flowing out from the business you must minus the cash payment how much cash you're paying out from the business now you want to see how much cash actually you're getting a positive cash flow or negative cash flow you from what you have received and the balance right the balance you brought from the previous month you deduct that cash 
that's flowing out from your business then you can know how much you have you have inside your business whether it's positive or negative then that is where your shareholder will know whether they will be receiving value or not okay so that is all about the cash flow your balance sheet and your income statement so then you can see your performance whether you're doing well or not so this is the most important stuff that you'll be doing to do your reporting later on all right okay until then i'll see you guys in the next video all right see you bye